Hey guys, what's going on? Spidyosh here. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and giving you my first impressions of the Samsung Gear VR. The unboxing experience for a Gear VR headset is super basic. Inside the box, there is just a plastic container that holds everything inside of it. The headset sits comfortably in the box with some straps as well as a quick start guide. The headset itself feels well built, but the plastic construction sort of makes it feel cheap, but this is probably there just to keep the weight down so people can wear it for long periods of time. So, what is the headset like to set up and actually use? Well, it's actually quite easy. All you've got to do is put the straps on and then insert the phone into the device. From here, you're guided through the entire setup. Welcome to your Samsung Gear VR. To start the setup process, remove your mobile device and install the required applications on it. The longest part of the setup is waiting for all the required apps to download. Once finished, you're greeted with the store which allows you to download VR apps and games for your headset. There seems to be a wide variety of apps and games available, which is a good thing for anyone who really wants to get into virtual reality. When you first wear this headset, it's actually a pretty interesting experience. One of the experiences I got to try out was a video from the Discovery Channel that puts you in space. It's not a game as such, but a 360 video which allows you to look around. It puts you in the shoes of someone doing a spacewalk right before things go wrong. We'll get right back. What was that? Did you see that? It was a very cool experience, but things did get disorientating. Uh, we're hit! I'm spinning out! Impact! I'm spinning! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you hurt? Repeat. I'm spinning! Are you injured? When you're actually using the headset, you have a few ways to interact with what you see before you. The first way is to obviously just look around, but also on the side of the headset is a touchpad and a back button. It also has a wheel on the top of the device to help you adjust the focus. The screen quality that you get from this headset is dictated by which phone you use. At the moment, the supported phones are the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, the Note 5 and the S6 and S6 Edge. When I was using this headset, I was testing it with the standard Galaxy S7. This phone has a Quad HD display and when you put it so close to your face, it gets a little bit pixelated. It's not too bad, but it's not great either. When it comes to wearing the device, the Gear VR does an alright job. It is decently comfortable and I do feel like I could wear it for a long period of time, but some people say that after all it does fog up a bit. I haven't had any issues with fog, but that doesn't mean it can't happen. Overall, the Gear VR headset seems to work pretty well. Despite looking a little bit pixelated, it is a fun device to use. As always guys, thanks for watching my video, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel as you have no idea how much it helps me out, and if you're interested, you might even like some of my other videos.